Okay, so this is probably going to trigger some people, but you know what? I don't even care because it needs to be said. And I'm not picking at this guy in general, okay? So don't be coming after him. Um, there were several comments like this, and so I just wanted to address it. Okay, first off, 90% of the time, people who say stuff like this don't even have a pot to piss in, okay? She isn't taking half of your rented house, okay? She isn't taking half of the car that was once paid for but now has a title loan out on it. Maybe y'all had a couple of kids together and now you have to be responsible and pay child support, but guess what? That's just life, okay? Regardless of what happens, you have to take care of your kids. It's just going to happen. Now, do I think there are certain scenarios where things maybe don't come out, you know, uh, you know, fair, as fair as they need to? Yes. But you know what? If you expect your wife to be a stay-at-home mom, you know, her whole life or whatever, and then you get pissed off when you go and cheat on her and she ends up ha uh, filing for divorce and gets alimony, well, my suggestion to you is don't cheat. Yeah, guys. So uh, just open up those wallets. Hand over the money, okay? Because real men hand over their money. Um, the women can do nothing wrong. Marriages only end because men cheat, apparently. But what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's show, guys, we're going to be going through a bunch of videos and responding them to them together. So as we go through, make sure to leave your comments and opinions as we do. And uh, guys, just a quick announcement. If you haven't already, make sure you join both the Discord and the Locals links in the description. Both of those are totally free to join and uh, you'll be notified if anything terrible has uh, happened to the channel. Um, and also, um, the Locals has a support option if you're interested. But guys, we're just going to jump straight back into this video and we're going to address all of our points together and uh, you know see what else these people have to say. So let's crack into it. I don't even care because it needs to be said and i'm not picking at this guy in general okay so don't be coming after him um there were several comments like this and so i just wanted to address it okay first off 90 percent of the time people who say stuff like this don't even have a pot to piss in okay she isn't what okay first of all maybe they don't have a pot to piss in so to speak because their assets have been taken second of all what does it matter even if someone who doesn't have a lot of money is commenting on the fact that uh you know, marriage is a terrible system. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, guys, oh, well, in order to have an, uh, an opinion on marriage, I better have a house then, huh? Like, what the hell, what the hell even is that? Taking half of your rented house, okay? Even have a pot to piss in, okay? She isn't taking half of your rented house, okay? She isn't taking half of the car that was once paid for but now has a title loan out on it. Yeah, you're right. These ladies are taking the actual houses that men have bought. And the cars that men own. Okay, I love how she's just assuming that these guys who get dragged through the divorce courts, oh yeah, all they have to lose is a rented house and a car that's, you know, bugger all money. I love how that's the assumption. Not that uh, men are out here losing their homes and losing their children. No, no, that couldn't be the case at all. The, the men who are complaining about this, oh, they're just broke. They're, they're, just, they're just broke guys who have nothing to offer. Craziness. Maybe y'all had a couple of kids together and now you have to be responsible and pay child support. But guess what? That's just life. Yeah, guys, that's just life. Uh, make sure you open up the wallets, open up the money. Um, and, you know, the funny part about this is, hey, women can initiate these divorces whenever they want. They can cheat on you and initiate divorce. Hell, they don't like you one day. You got, an, you got a bit in a, in a bit of an argument or she's just not feeling you that day. Uh, ladies can start divorces whenever the hell they want and uh, start collecting that uh, that child support. Start taking you to, to court for your assets. Okay? Okay. Regardless of what happens, you have to take care of your kids. It, it's just going to happen. Now, and you think that all of the child support money is going towards the kids? It's very convenient that this lady adopts this stance as though she's not actually getting paid. Like, I, I love the argument that, oh yeah, child support is all about the kids. It's about caring about your kids. Man, we all know that the majority of this money is not going towards the children. It's really not. These ladies are literally incentivized to get divorced from you. So you want to get into a marriage because of uh, you're in love with her or all, all this kind of stuff, man. Just understand that it is a huge risk that you're running. And she actually benefits from breaking the contract. You, in all likelihood, will not. Because as we all know, guys, women date upwards. It is a rare situation where the, man, where the woman has to split her assets and stuff like that. Because women do not date people below them, guys. They hate, they hate doing it. And you'll get all these ladies who say, oh, well, I dated below me. You know, I dated a broke guy and he treated me like crap and blah, blah, blah. And guys treat me like crap. Yeah, see, what they're doing is they're dating the, the guys that they're actually attracted to. 
in their younger years and they're getting treated like crap. And those are the, those are the situations they're getting treated like crap. And then they want to turn to the guys who have worked hard their entire life, who have have a house or a career put together, and then uh, and then that's the situation that they find themselves in. So yeah, guys, just open up the wallet. It is your responsibility to your children to start paying this lady. Very interesting. I do I think there are certain scenarios where things maybe don't come out, you know, uh, you know, fair as fair as they need to? Yes. But you know what? If you expect your wife to be a stay-at-home mom, you know, her whole life or whatever, and then you get pissed off when you go and cheat on her and she ends up ha uh, filing for divorce and gets alimony. I love how the sup like the the assumption there is that the reason marriages end are because men cheat. Let let's go through a couple of reasons why marriages end. Number 1, because the woman feels like ending it. Guys, women end most marriages. It's not the men ending the marriages and filing for divorce. It is literally the women. Okay, and I love how this lady's assumption is just immediately, oh, well, the man cheats. No, there are plenty of situations where the woman cheats. Okay, and let me put it to you this way, guys. Your woman can cheat on you in a marriage, file for divorce, and then still take half your crap. Like, that's the situation that we're in now. They're literally incentivized to do it. And here's what I will say about men cheating. Do you guys know why men in married uh, relationships cheat? The, the answer is this. What girls will do is they'll they'll get into marriages and they'll go, okay, well, I've got the guy now. I don't have to make any more effort. So then they'll start nagging or they'll start making stupid lists of chores for you to do. And they'll start, uh, th what they'll do is they'll start using their body to get their to get what they want out of you. So, oh yeah, we're not having bedroom fun tonight until you've cleaned the gutters. Or we're not doing this until that. Okay, so what girls will do is they'll withhold the bedroom fun. Okay, and then they'll be shocked and surprised and hurt when the man steps out of the marriage. It just blows my mind. It's like, yeah, if you treat men like crap, and, uh, you know, <laughs> you withdraw your half of the bargain, so to speak, and men step out, these women want to act all surprised and hurt. Like, what do you... You've got these men in relationships paying for the bills, paying for the house, you know, paying for the children and that sort of thing. And the girl's just living there rent-free while the kids go off to school and all that. Okay, and then the girl wants to turn around and go, oh, you cheated on me when she's the one that just makes his life a living hell or and, and doesn't have any uh, bedroom fun with him. And then they're the ones that shocked when the men leave them. It's it's like they, they literally create the situations themselves. And at the end of the day, they still get the money in the house anyway and the kids a lot of the time. It's craziness. Well, my suggestion to you is don't cheat. Yeah, my suggestion is uh, to you is to actually be a good wife. You know, it's all, it's, notice how whenever we watch videos like this, guys, it's just all on the men. And I understand that this in particular is a video compilation, but you go anywhere on TikTok, you talk about relationships, it is the men's fault everywhere. It's literally just the men's fault. Uh, but we're going to jump into another video here momentarily as I find it. And uh, guys, this is a little bit of a rough one, so... You know, j just a heads up on this, and we're just going to crack right into it. Goodness me. It's the one after this. Hang on. And here we are. I decided that because I was feeling crappy, I put an effort into my... Funny how you're going to put effort into your appearance and not your nutrition. Maybe then you won't feel so crappy, huh? Well, careful throwing around words like that. This is, uh, this is YouTube. You'll get banned for stuff like that. Mm. Hi. <laughs> Effort, huh? <laughs> I'm a god supermodel. Now, there are many things I could say here, guys, uh, but as we all know, the YouTube overlords wouldn't particularly like it. Um, but let's just read this, you know? Uh, yeah, wait, what'd she say? I'm a, I'm, a god, I'm a goddamn supermodel, is what she said. You know, it's really funny because you get these ladies running around out here and they actually think that they're like these these fantastic people just because they've got uh, men in their inboxes saying, oh, you're beautiful, or you go queen, like other girls gassing them up. Oh, you go queen, you're so beautiful. And it's really funny because um, what they'll do is they'll get all of these messages and then actually they'll believe it and they'll believe that they're a step above everyone else. And the funny part about it is when girls say, man, girls are so funny when uh, when they have friends and stuff like that. Girls will literally be the best friends with one another, even though they hate each other. You guys ever seen that? It's really common, right? You'll get the girls who, they they literally do not like each other at all, but they're best friends and they always spend time together. And something else that's really hilarious about it is like, you'll get girls say, oh, queen, you're so beautiful. Any guy would be lucky to have you. And part of the reason they're saying that is not actually because they believe it. 
It's just that they want their value to rise as well, right? They want it to be perceived as women are always, you know, women are good. Women are, women are the prize. So what they'll do is they'll go, yeah, queen, I love you. I love you. And they'll point to all the other girls say, hell yeah, girl, you, you go out there, you get it. And the reason they're doing that a lot of the time is because they want the value of women collectively to rise so that they can, uh, you know, go out there and try and secure a higher value guy than they're, than they're actually entitled to. Oh. Mm, I know. Yeah. I also run multiple successful businesses. <laughs> I know. I know. It's not much effort, though. I also work out five days a week. I know. <laughs> Again, not many things I'm allowed to say on that because of YouTube. Um, but hey, this is just an idea, okay? Like, whenever you see these uh, these people who are a little bit on the unhealthy side, shall we say, um, and, th and someone recommends to them that, hey, you might want to look into your diet, I love how they always take it as a, um, like, it's something that's meant to be offensive. Maybe people actually just care about your health, right? It's like, maybe people actually are just saying, well, hey, uh, it could be a good idea that you look into nutrition because the way you're going at the moment um, is kind of an early way out. Like, I've said this on the channel before, gentlemen, but if you're in a situation where you've got bad health, whether that be because you don't go to the gym or, you know, you don't eat the right things, you're not healthy and stuff like that, one of the worst things that someone can tell you to you, one of the worst things that someone can say to you is, oh, don't worry, man, you're fine the way you are. You're just perfect the way you are. This is this is that crap that society will feed you. Oh yeah, man. Uh, just be yourself, and someone will come along. Don't worry. Don't worry about your health, guys. Like don't don't worry about none of that. Eat whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Um, because a real person, a real good human, will accept you for the piece of crap that you are. I'm not I'm not directing that comment at this lady here. I'm just saying in general. Like if you're in a if you're in a bad situation, people will encourage you to stay in that situation. Don't listen to them. They, they literally do not have your best interests at heart. And I think that's one of the most disgusting things you can tell someone is don't worry, man, uh, you'll find the way you are. I, I, I don't like that at all, man. I think that does people a great disservice. <laughs> um, God, so many mental gymnastics to, to get from your leap over here. Now that's effort, yeah. Um, yeah, and again, the, the thing to note here is notice how she positions herself above above other people because she thinks that either a her you know her business makes her better or the fact that she does modeling makes her better than other people it's like i, I don't i don't care even if you think that you're above someone right even if you think that or maybe she's only addressing the lady at the beginning of the video it it's still a it's still a terrible frame to adopt Right, it doesn't make you a better person because you have more money. It doesn't make you a better person because you're more or less fit than another person. It it, it really doesn't. Like, <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, guys, you can believe whether you whether this lady goes to the gym or not. That's totally up for you to decide. Um, but it's it's just very funny to see how when people people think that they're above other people because of the fact that they have successful businesses. Which, by the way, I'd be very interested to see this lady's businesses. You know, it always seems to be something to do with. Uh, selling the body these days or a fake eyelash business or something like that i don't know you know i really i don't really have much else to say because you know you roasted laughs in fat Roast chat in good mental health well that was just an absolutely beautiful video wasn't it guys and we got another one lined up here and uh this one's a bit to swallow as well this might take us a little bit to get through um let's crack into that me being picky or choosy or all of these things, that's that's not me making it harder for you. I love that video. Go watch it. It has great points. When it comes to dating, yes, women have more options. But quantity of options does not determine quality of options, which somewhat ties to a point I want to make. There is a double standard when it comes to dating under patriarchy. Women are always told to settle down. How many of you heard, oh, he's such a nice guy, you should give him a chance? Women are not encouraged to settle down. Women are encouraged to go out here and live their best life and have all the fun that they want. Okay, and to address his first point, um, where, you know, quantity of options does not necessarily mean quality of options, the fact remains that women are in a far better position in the dating market than men. And the supposition there is then then that uh, most men are crap. Like, you see what I'm saying here, guys? It's like, okay, well, your supp is if you were to believe what he said there, then you come to the assumption that, hey, all men are crap. Okay, not all men are crap. You got a lot of great guys out here. And what will end up happening is the reason why a lot of these women think that all men are trash is because they're shooting for the top percent who treat them like options. 
the guys at the top, the you know the chads who look great and you're fantastic and all that sort of stuff, guys, is like they can choose what girls that they want. So they're going to treat the majority of girls like an option. They're going to treat them like crap because options make people entitled and they make uh, people treat other people like crap. That is why you see, you know, you've got all of these girls, man, that have so many options. So they just treat the average man like some sort of expendable little little toy, really. Oh yeah, I'll message him here and there, but then I'm just going to stop replying because ah, uh, you know what, I'm I'm bored. On to the next guy. Okay, but this idea that women are encouraged to settle down, we must be living in alternative universes here because uh, I do not see that at all. Women are encouraged to do the exact opposite. See, women are often told that and discouraged to go after what they actually want and who they are actually attracted to. No, they're not. They are actively encouraged to go after what they want and be a boss ass, be and, and all this kind of stuff. Like Women are actively encouraged to go out there and, and chase the people that they want. So we're like, what are we, strike three now already? A woman will date men they're not attracted to because it will be more comfortable. So yeah, agreed. I mean, guys, look at what he just said there, right? Let's go, let's go back and look at this. Attracted to. A woman will date men they're not attracted to because it will be more comfortable. Yeah. Guys, girls have a, uh, a, ma a dating strategy where what they'll do, now not all girls will do this, right? But this is a general strategy. Go out there and have fun while you can with the bad boys. Okay, and maybe have their kids or, or something like that. And then as you get to later points in your life, hey, it's fine. You can just turn to a guy uh, because a real man, you, what you do is you then get to your 40s and then you try and shame a man into committing to you. Oh, real men accept me with all my flaws. They'll understand the bad journey that I've been through and they're going to accept me anyway. That's that's the the kind of party lines. Women will, yeah, women will get into relationships with guys just to feel comfortable. They're going to get that... You know, those assets, gentlemen, you got to live somewhere. Can't be working at, uh, can't be working at Starbucks their entire lives, right? You see, what girls will do is they'll work at some low maintenance job, chase Chad. And then when they start to get older and think to themselves, well, I'm getting a bit tired. I don't want to do this. I don't want to work anymore. Um, then they go out and they, they get with a guy that they're more comfortable with because he represents stability. She's not attracted to him. She doesn't like him. It's a selfish decision. That's what it is. So they're told to settle for the bare minimum or less. That's no, okay, we're, we're going to listen to this full thing and then we're going to come back and address a couple of points because everything he says is wrong that, that he's said so far. Let's continue. Because patriarchy doesn't want ambitious women, but they're often called stuck up or like told to get over themselves. They're attacked by misogynistic people for knowing their own worth, knowing what they will and won't tolerate. Men, on the other hand, are always encouraged to be go-getters. They're encouraged to go after what they want instead of what is safest. This encourages a dangerous level of entitlement because they're always told to pursue what they want, who they want. No matter how the person they're pursuing feels, they're still told to be entitled to get them. They're told that real men fight for what they want. They're told that if they love them, they should never let go. They're told that she's only playing hard to get. This encourages toxic and dangerous behavior, from stalking to harassing to getting violent when they're rejected. They are generally not told to settle for someone who's going to be nice to them. No, they're told to pursue what they want and be entitled to it. As opposed to women who are told to sell for someone who's going to be nice to them. Another example of how patriarchy coddles men, no matter how many more options women have. Yeah, I mean, gentlemen, there are so many things wrong with what he just said there. Like, everything was incorrect. Um, it, it's going to take us... We're just going to fly through and kind of address a few points as, as we go through. Because, man, there were just so many things that were incorrect about that. Let's go back for a moment. Patriarchy doesn't want ambitious women. But they're often called stuck up or, like, told to get over themselves. They're attacked by misogynistic people for knowing their own worth. Knowing what they will and won't tolerate. No, see, this is the funny thing. You gotta love how the M word card is brought out here, guys. Like, if you if you try and hold women accountable and say that, hey, maybe you're acting a bit entitled here, then all of a sudden you're the M word. Okay, no, women go. Women are out here at the moment with very unrealistic standards for men. That's that's just the way it is. What's happening is they've got their inboxes full of messages from guys, so that they think that they're all uh, the, the most sugar spice and everything nice. But they're not actually entitled to those men. You can get a guy who earns six figures, maybe a six foot and that sort of thing for a for a night or two. So what women will do is they'll go have that fun and then they'll think that they're entitled to that kind of guy again and again. And then they treat the other the rest of the men like crap. That's how it works. Men on the other hand are always encouraged to be go getters. They're encouraged to go after what they want instead of what is safest. No, they're not. 
uh, men are encouraged at the moment to be crybabies, if I'm completely honest. Um, men are encouraged, hey, you know what? Real men put up with crappy behavior. Real men don't have boundaries. They accept women the way that they are, even if they treat them like crap. Uh, you know, real men are in tune with their emotions and their feelings and aren't afraid to express them. All of these kind of things, those things that I just outlined, guys, if you want to go and follow them, you're more than welcome to, but it's just going to ruin your dating life. It really is because what women say and what they actually respond to are two hugely different things. I don't care how many times a girl says, oh yeah, just be open and vulnerable with me. That's what I want. I'm sick of being treated this way. You got to ask yourself, guys, there are plenty of men out there who would be willing to treat women great. You know, take them on dates, do all these things for them, tell her she's beautiful and stuff like that. But that's not actually what she wants. If she wanted that, she would not be going to the, to the guys who are, you know, doing the exact opposite. And there's a video I still have to release on Patreon um, where a girl says, um, you know, girls are attracted to not men, not necessarily because they're assholes, but because they have other masculine characteristics that quote unquote nice guys tend to lack. But the fact remains, guys, women, women are actually attracted to, or at the very least, they're repulsed by quote unquote nice behavior. You want to go out here calling ladies beautiful and telling them, them that they mean the world to you and you'll do anything for them. And you're just going to run girls off. You know, you want to lend her money. Here's the funny part. Like you want to lend a girl money. You just lost respect. You want to go help her with her, her car tire. You just lost respect. And, and the, the funny part about it is a lot, and I'm not saying all, but a lot of nice actions have a very large capacity to lower her interest in you because she knows, oh, well, now I've got him. He drove out here 45 minutes out of his day to come and fix my tire. So he must have not a whole lot to do. He's calling me beautiful. Um, does he not have other girls to be hitting up? Why aren't other girls hitting him up? It, well, is he just worth nothing? I don't want a guy who no other girls want. That's creepy. That's weird. You see where I'm going with that, gentlemen? It's like men are not encouraged to go out here and, and chase what they want. Men are encouraged to shrivel up and be these meek little things that only do actions based on other people's opinions. That's where men are at right now. This encourages a dangerous level of entitlement because they're always told to pursue what they want, who they want. No man Men are not encouraged to have entitlement. Men are encouraged to go out here and, hey, do all of these things, you know, get her flowers, roses, do all these fantastic and nice and beautiful things, and then uh, maybe you'll be deserving of her. That is literally the opposite of being taught to be entitled. Men are taught to chase and chase and chase, and maybe one day she'll turn around and realize your worth. You guys know that, like, that movie scene? I don't know where the hell it originated from, but the one where a guy's, like, throwing rocks up to her window and then she finally opens it and he plays her like romantic music or some crap like that it's like oh yeah maybe she'll maybe she'll finally come around like what that that is literally the opposite of entitlement that's what men are trained to do and it's literally the opposite of what this man is saying no matter how the person they're pursuing feels they're still told to be entitled to get them they're no men are entitled to chase and chase and chase and guys this is kind of the the thought that we're going to leave the video on here but um men are encouraged to chase and chase and chase and do you know who do you know who is it who is um doing that encouraging it is the ladies who do that encouraging and the reason for that is because hey if men are chasing and chasing and chasing well then they get the free attention the free validation the free resources the women get benefited by being chased so what they'll do is they'll go out here they're encourage they'll encourage guys to chase or oh, maybe i'll be ready in six months maybe we can be together then or and they'll lead guys on for months and months at a time and to, and say you know what oh a real guy pursues his lady if you ask a girl for dating advice and you say hey oh i want this other girl to like me what do you recommend doing oh how about you just be friends first and show her that you care and oh, be in touch with your emotions and all this kind of crap and if you listen to that my goodness, you're going to be in a, in a bit of a terrible situation. But gentlemen, I think we're going to leave today's video there. Uh, my OBS has, uh, has frozen, so hopefully the recording still goes through. But make sure you leave your comments, your thoughts, and your opinions as we wrap up today's video. And just to rehash the announcement at the beginning, guys, make sure you come and join the Discord and the Locals links in the description. Both of those links are totally free to come and join. Um, the Locals has a support option if you're interested in that. And, um, you know, just in case anything happens to the channel, guys, you will be notified over there. Uh, locals actually, they actually had a representative that reached out to us. Um, so, 
you know, that's super awesome to see. Nobody from YouTube has talked to us this entire damn time other than to warn us about something that they won't tell us about on the channel. So that's always good to see. Uh, locals seem to be interested in supporting the communities that are over there. Uh, but like I said, guys, both of those links are in the description. Make sure you leave your thoughts below before um, you head out. Subscribe if you're new or if you like the video. And uh, we're going to call it there, gentlemen. So as always, make sure you take care of yourselves. And I will see you boys in the next one. Peace.